Hey guys, welcome back to Joel's Music Tips. I think we're up to installment, so I'm trying to block out that light, that sun. Um, I think we're up to installment seven. This one's going to be all about freedom, individuality, expressing yourself, setting aside fear, not worrying about mistakes, playing what you want to play, and standing out from the crowd. Um, so, vodka in the morning, it's awesome. Just kidding. Um, so you'll notice, by the way, I'm playing this kind of cheap little chintzy kid's guitar, really. Um, I was a little too lazy to go upstairs and get the real one. But also, it, it ties into my statement, because you, if you feel like, you know, if that's part of your act, I'm going to play a little guitar, I don't care, and, you know, this is what it is, deal with it. Uh, that's a very affirmative kind of statement of you're, you're playing what you want, you're not conforming. Um, plus, uh, you know, if it sounds like crap... It, beauty comes from the inside. You can always overcome that. So don't wor don't worry about don't worry about what other people think so much. Usually the pentatonic scale is a vehicle for improvising in the blues, and they're too they're too pentatonic. The minor one, um, more maybe more common in blues, which is comes from the Spanish word for uh, for five quintos. No pentos, right? Pentatonic one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, Five notes, and you get a lot of magic in there. You've heard a million solos. Eric Clapton. And then there's the major pentatonic, the happy country pentatonic. Five notes, but different notes. You put the notes from the major and the minor together, you get all these notes. And then if you add the blues note, that one... Right? Then you get a lot of notes. You get only these three notes out of all the notes, which are the f sharp nine, the major seven, and the flat six. Throw them in two. Then you've got every note. When you're playing the blues, you can play every single note. There are no wrong notes. Right? Now you don't have to worry about making mistakes. You can throw yourself in and express yourself with the entire palette of notes, and it's all valid, because you're, uh, well, I just showed you why it's all valid. Check oh. it out. I'm going to play blues the old safe way. It's fine. It's a little boring. So, here's the more modern, hip way of uh, just going to town and being you and really making potentially a much more profound statement. Um, Right? Um, uh, it's just, you're, it's kind of like, you know, looking at a, a Monet compared to um, a cave drawing or even, even like some earlier Renaissance art where like, you know, every acorn, every little soldier with his cannon was painted with incredible accuracy. You know, it's impressive, but it's, you know, you yawn a little bit when you see that. Uh, why not make an acorn just like a little sloppy little brush stroke or something um you don't uh, even accuracy it's that's an old-fashioned you don't have to be able to hear every note clearly it's fine to be able to right i think it's like monet versus uh whoever came before him um and you don't even always have to be able to hear every note clearly it can be right that creates our interest of loud and then soft. The same with the hand. You don't always have to be banging like this. You can go, or even, even just this. It's there. You just can't always hear it. Remember, a lot of it's about your presentation. You might be moving in a certain way that all the, the people are going to see. It's just your hand. And that's, cool. that's what's cool, right? It's like dancing. It's all art, it's all expression, everything's available. 
You can't make mistakes, so don't worry about that. Jump into the void. See you next time.